for a fine woodworker like John Furness, only the sharpest of tools will work. And after a quick run on the grinder and sanded down, they're just the way he wants them. This piece of wood looks more like a wheel of cheese. John Furness sees a wooden bowl. I can take this picture that's in my mind, this object that's in my mind, and make it a real thing. Using his fingers as guides and his hands as his eyes, he puts the tip of the chisel to the wood and changes its shape. While I'm carving it on the lathe, I feel it change and transform under my hand when I'm, as I'm feeling it. As you watch him carve out this bowl, try seeing it from his point of view. His world wasn't always this dark. That day, it... On April 10th, 1998, he lost his sight at the age of 16 after surviving a suicide attempt. And that morning, I just... I just don't know. I just... I, I, I just had enough. I just reached the point where I... I... I didn't want to do it anymore. His life spiraled downhill for the next seven to eight years, using meth and having run-ins with police. Life changes. It, everything changes eventually. And you can affect that change or you can be affected by that change. And after almost hitting bottom a second time, he saw his potential in a piece of wood. At a school for the blind in Utah, he picked up woodworking and has never looked back. The 37-year-old now spreads his message of hope to students of all ages. My message is look forward. Definitely look forward. Def be in the present moment, but look forward to what may c come. Of his many pieces of work, there's bowls, honey pots, and so much more that these hands have touched. Helen Keller once said, of all the senses, sight must be the most delightful. Um, and if you want to know what John sees, just listen to his description and follow along. Close your eyes and you press on them. You see those kind of kaleidoscopic geometric shapes and colors and, and all that kind of thing. I see a version of that all the time. And it's, it's red with black speckles going through it, kind of like snow on a TV screen, but not, not as fast. A life once spiraling out of control, saved by the hands of an artist. It makes me realize that in some ways I had to lose my sight to really gain my vision.